Okay, so hey everyone, uh, I'm just going to do a quick uh, test of this audio. It's a MIDI feature in Ableton Live 9. Um, first, we're going to play piano. Uh, it's about eight measures. This is a real audio live piano or an audio file. All right, so um, of course you just go in here. It says convert harmony to new MIDI track. You want to use the harmony. There's also a convert melody. Well, that would be like for like a single, you know, note phrase. Uh, and drums as well, and slice to new MIDI track as well. Um, but for this, I just converted to harmony. Um, it takes a little wild process but I already did that so and here's the MIDI file now and I also I should note that Ableton will detect that it's piano and it'll put it on a piano sound so All right, so as you can see there, it's uh, it does um, kind of a mixed, if you will, kind of job. I mean, it gets most of it, but then some of the, like, those triplets and stuff there, it doesn't really seem to do. And some of those notes are high. I don't know if it's just because of the piano sound, maybe, that it's playing here. Um, and here's both together just to give a... So let's just actually, let's just play this original one again. MIDI one. Yeah, so it sounds like it's like maybe an octave higher too. Of course you could just go in here and, you know, edit or whatever, move it down an octave. But uh, so the feature is, is you know, it's kind of it's, you know, I don't know, I don't know if you'd be able to, you know, exactly, you know, record a whole band and then expect to transfer everything to MIDI and it's gonna be perfect. Uh, but you can really do some creative things. You know, you can change that to a different instrument or something if you want. Um, but check out the other conversion tests I've done in the links in the video. Um, so that's all for now. Talk to you soon.